Hey, what's up? Um, just want to do a quick video. Uh, I am about to square file um, a raised profile on this chain. And um, I was dressed in the bar and I thought, you know what? This might be a good, uh, good video for people that don't know how to do it. So I just actually finished this side. Um, you can see this is an older Husqvarna bar, 20 inch for, uh, I run it on my 268 XP, my firewood saw. Um, and I just get done with these rails and uh, basically do them by hand. So I just wanted to show you what I do. So I'm gonna set you down here, talk for a minute. Get you over closer when I can. Uh, I'll leave it over here for a sec. I gotta learn to do these upright because you just get lose so much height like this. Oh god, you don't be able to see shit. Let's get you up here on my water bottle. I'll bring you down when I need to. I can get you set up here. Alright. I don't know if that's gonna stay there, but I hope so. Sorry about this. All right, so a um, little bit uh, an explanation to start off with. So if your um, if your bar is cut crooked, hold on, let me grab a square. If your bar is cut crooked rarely tooth profile um, most of the time it's your bar rails and uh, these need to be dressed constantly the bar flipped constantly uh, when they wear let's see if I get this on camera here let's see if I get this good here All right, so you can see, if you see the far side of the bar rail there, you see that, um, how the chain's dug into it. It creates that burr. It creates that burr right there. And that burr will actually fold over the sides. You can cut your fingers on it. Um, so right here, I can actually feel it. I don't know if I can scrape off some fingernail but that burr is all the way down the side here and it will make the bar or the rail deep like that it'll cause a groove and it'll get uneven and that causes your chain to cock to the side and cause it to cut uneven so when you dress them you want to get them dressed square so I don't know if this is going to show up or not but right now I just got done with that one side and the bar rails are completely square and they're nice and clean on the top. I've taken the burr off the sides. And I'm gonna do the other side quick while I get you guys here. Um, so if it's real, real bad, what I'll do, okay, I'm gonna move you, I hate to, but if it's real, real bad, what I'll do is I'll come over to do the belt grinder first and then just run them down to take uh, most of the divot out. But then what can happen is they won't be square. So when I'm squaring them up, I'll show you how I do it. Uh, what I'll do is to get in the vise. And if you do this enough, you don't really think twice about it pretty simple actually but I cut myself a block and this block will fit a lot of my different files you got one side group this side of maple actually 
Um, you just run it through the table saw until the files fit in there. My thicker files fit in this side, thinner files fit in that side. And uh, what you do is you're going to register this against the side of the bar. Around, right, the so you register that against the side of your bar, or you can use the long side too on some of the bigger bars. So as long as it doesn't, it looks like it'll clear. But uh, if you hold it flat against the bar, I'm just going to show you real quick what that did. So you can see uh, all the metal filings in here now. I think. Now this bar is pretty beat. This is an old bar. So you can see the chunks out of it. But if you see the top of the rails here, the top of the rails are all nice and clean. When you first start doing this, probably, and you can see where it kind of um, left off right there, where I didn't go around the corner. There you go. You can see where I didn't go around the corner. I try to get around the corner too. I'll do another couple passes. But when you first start doing this, you can take a Sharpie and uh, color your rails I'm just going to leave you right here for one second get this out of the way, I'm going to stone the bar too and I'm going to show you how to do that but uh so then when you go down You can see if uh, it's cleaning off the rails evenly. And you'll be able to see if you have low spots. Like I still have a little bit of a low spot right here and a little bit of a low spot right here. But they only have to be close. They don't have to be dead perfect. You know, I'm not trying to return it to brand new. You know, this is just general maintenance on the bar. You see this Oh, yeah. Good. So almost all the Sharpie's gone now, except for right up here by the tip where the, the file won't get low enough to hit that. Pretty much, so you can see the red and where that ding is. There's a little bit of red right here. I'm going to make a couple of quick little short passes right on the other side of that. Wow, it's cutting really nice right now, so it's time to do it. So that's plenty flat enough. So what happens is you end up with a burr on the side, and uh, you're just going to take a file, go down the side, take that burr off. Essentially make a teeny little champ on the side, make sure it's gone, somewhere right here. I usually get it up around the tip here. I'm just going to blow this out quick. Well, you don't get me on you. I'm going to pick you up real quick while I'm doing this. Alright, let me shut off that air. So you guys don't have to constantly listen to it.
Then what will happen is uh, when you clean off the burr on the side, the burr will come, out, come kind of around back to the top. So I like to stone my bars. It's a completely unnecessary step for the most part. But um, just any regular, you know, bench stone. And it just kind of smooths them out a little bit. Gets rid of the burr. And this isn't really removing any metal, so you don't have to worry about going too far. Uh, one sec, just gonna grab a paper towel. Yeah, so that's dressing your bar. It's getting the bar real square. You see what you can see. Yeah, you can see. You can't see me, but you can see the bar. So you're just getting your bar rail square to the side plate, um, getting it nice and smooth all the way down, aside from that chunk. This bar still, I mean, it, this bar still cuts a ton of firewood, so it's, it's nothing wrong with it. Um, and now that I did this, because I'm, I had to uh, pull a chain off, and usually when I pull a chain off, I'll check the bar. Um, this will be ready to go for a while. Because I'll be able to run a flip on it too, and uh, so this this bar would probably be good for I mean for a real you know timber faller. Who knows? I don't know how long, how often you guys dress your dress up your bars, but on my firewood stuff, since I'm not a I don't sell firewood, I mill lumber on my big milling bars. I have to do it often, but on my little firewood bars like this, I mean this will probably probably be good for a couple of months before I have to do anything but if you stay on top of it you don't have to go very far you stay on top of it and it cleans up really quick so, yeah, so even on an old husky like this that's what the bar rails look like after you're done it's pretty simple doesn't take very long. You can see that low spot where the red still is right there because the file wouldn't get down there. I don't like to ding the uh, sprocket, so I'll just leave that. That's fine. But uh, yeah, it's nice and cleaned up now. Uh, so this one's ready to go back to work. And um, after I get her, I will throw some grease in the sprocket. I'll throw some grease in the sprocket tip. Usually, whenever I have a bar off, I'll. I'll grease it. I don't use the gun. I'll just pack it just like how I was taught to pack a bearing when I was a kid. I mean, you just do it by hand. You pack this, spin it, pack it, spin it, pack it, spin it, pack it, pack the outside, spin it, pack the outside. It's more than enough. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do some, um, I'm going to get it all set up and uh, start square filing uh, that into a nasty chain. So, wanted to show you what was going on. You guys have a great day.